I have a prepared statement for tomorrow, and uh, in that statement I talk about a much more serious act that the President committed than anything that we've generally talked about, and that was the illegal bombing of Sudan and Afghanistan. Two hundred million dollars were spent for that without congressional approval. Not only is it annoying, I think it's illegal, I think it's unconstitutional, I think it's an act of war, and I think it's much worse than anything that we have considered under the impeachment. There's been a lot of talk about the Constitution in the last several weeks, in the last several months. A lot of people holding up the Constitution. But I'd like them to read the Constitution, everybody here in this Congress, to read the Constitution about committing acts of war. This, to me, is an outrage, and we shouldn't be participating in it. We should not permit our president to do this. There, there's no threat. We're going to do more harm by doing this. If, if Congress were given an opportunity to vote on whether we should bomb Iraq, would you go along with that as long as it, it went through the, the procedures? No, I would strongly oppose it because they're not a threat to our national security. Uh, Iraq has a third-rate army. They have no ability to wage war. Our policies are deliberately destroying the country. They can't feed their children. They're not allowed to have medication. There was a story in today's paper where one of our private charity groups was being fined because they were trying to get medicines in to the Iraqi people. So for us to unleash bombs on Iraq at this particular time to kill more innocent people for narrow political reasons, no, there is absolutely no need to cause more bombing because of a very overall flawed foreign policy. How are you going to vote on impeachment? I'll well, vote for impeachment. For all four articles? Yes. Uh, unenthusiastically because I think the charges are way too mild and not touching the issues that I would like to touch. I mean, that's what we should be addressing. But I wish the Congress would address the unconstitutionality of presidents waging war. That, to me, is a lot more serious than uh, Monica Lewinsky, let me tell you. It has nothing to do with national security. Matter of fact, our national security is more jeopardized by permitting this to happen. Because we're liable to start a war. We're liable to have our military men killed. We're liable to have more attacks on us by terrorists.